Hey everybody, so we are officially less than two weeks away from the great American total solar eclipse and what we're talking about in this video today is how to make sure that you're not buying fraudulent or fake solar eclipse glasses. The only things you need to test and make sure you bought legitimate glasses are two items. You need the glasses that you've purchased and you need some kind of bright light source. I'm using a flashlight, which you most likely have built into your actual cell phone. Otherwise, you can probably find something that will work. Just don't use the sun. So step number one is somewhere on your eclipse glasses, mine's on the inside as you can see here, you should see a bunch of writing. Chances are a lot of it or maybe all of it will not make sense. That is okay. All you need to know is that your glasses should say something about conforming to or meeting the standards of what's called the ISO, which is the International Organization for Standards. Don't have to understand all of it, but you really need to see that on the glasses. If not, you've lost a couple bucks or do not buy the glasses. Um, see that mine, which I actually purchased at Lowe's for the low price listed on them of a buck ninety-eight. They have the logo, they have all the information about how they conform to the ISO standards, so fortunately I'm good to go there. Uh, if your glasses don't say this, I would highly recommend not using them to stare directly at the sun. It's a gigantic nuclear factory that fuses hydrogen into helium at 27 million degrees. Probably not a great idea. Step two, also very simple, get your light source. Like I said, I'm using a flashlight. You might have the flashlight on your phone. Uh, you can see this particular flashlight is extremely bright, which is what we want. All you're gonna do, you should be able to hold your lens of the eclipse glasses up to the flashlight. You can tell there's a light behind it, but really nothing at all coming through. Uh, you can see it's coming below, it's coming above. Not through the lens though, which is awesome. Stars generate things like gamma rays, all sorts of things that are really not great for human eyes. Uh, so the fact that these block a lot of light is exactly what you're looking for. If you test this and your glasses don't do that, again, I would highly recommend not using them for the eclipse. Not a smart idea. Alright, so that's it. Two things, that's all you need. You need the glasses you bought that are hopefully legitimate, and to check the writing, make sure it conforms with ISO standards, and some kind of bright light source like a flashlight. Shine it right through the lens of those glasses, make sure that uh, basically no light is coming through, and you should be good to go for the great American eclipse. If you have not bought your glasses yet, fortunately astronomate.com slash great American Eclipse does have a list of certified vendors and brands and places in most likely your city where you can get the glasses. And they're almost always just a couple bucks a piece. So I would hurry, but there's still plenty of places you can get them.